Massimo, uh, we've both been fascinated by consciousness. I think one of the greatest probes of what consciousness is is to ask the question, can our first-person experience be uploaded? Uh, what I call the techno-optimists of, uh, of the world, <laughs> the Silicon Valley uh, billionaires, all believe that this is an engineering problem. There's nothing fundamental in physics or philosophy that is interfering with it, so it, it, can, be, it can be achieved uh, physically, that you can upload your mind, you know, every, uh, every, at, at whatever level information is, is um, uh, significant in the brain, whether it's at the synaptic level or subcellular or even quantum, eventually some machine, quantum machine, can be able to simulate it. And, and, and upload your, your, your brain. You, you believe that, uh, I believe that, that virtual immortality is, is not a good bet. Uh, I think you called it uh, the most expensive and time-consuming way of committing suicide. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that the problem there is that Technology, techno optimists, as as you put it, uh, which who tend to be you know Silicon Valley programmers and stuff like that, they just don't take the biology seriously. Again, this is a recurring problem in these kind of discussions. What do we know about consciousness? That it is an evolved biological process that depends on certain particular substrates acting in a certain particular way. Now, do we know that it's impossible to do it otherwise? No, we don't. But that's what we do know. And it seems to, it seemed to me a huge leap of faith to go from, well, all we know is that it deals, it deals with specific physical chemical substrates acting in a specific way to the substrate doesn't matter. Because in order to have uploading, that's what it, you have to sure. have. It's kind of substrate. a functionalist approach. Right, it's a functionalist approach. The, the, the substrate does not have to, to matter. Um, I don't actually think that a lot of these people believe what they're saying. Uh, at the bottom, I talked one to David, once to David Chalmers, uh, for instance, about mind uploading. And I said, so if, if the process were destructive, that is, in order to upload your mind, you had to slice your brain, and that means that you're gone, would you do it? And he said, frankly, no. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> uh, after all, that is your ticket to immortality, right? I think this is all nice uh, sci-fi speculation. It's interesting to conceive for, for a minute or two over a, a good glass of scotch. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is really no science behind it. Now, do I go so far as saying that I know for a fact that this is impossible? No. That's always a dangerous bet to make. But the proof is in the empirical data and what we know about consciousness up to this point. And I think that everything we know militates against. Okay. So let, let me see if I can uh, uh, take each of the pieces. You need a biological system. So let's imagine in the future you have a, a, a body that, that's brain dead through a tra trauma accident and you have a way of, 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 uh, of uh, connecting that body to a, a, a non-biological brain that you can be uploaded to, so somehow it can be connected and get a sense of, of a body. Um, would that make you more comfortable that you could, in, in, at least in principle, be able to do it? Because now you have a body associated with it. Look, if you can upload a brain, uh, you, you can connect that brain to a body. That, that's that's yeah. a much easier task. So here's the question. What does it mean to upload a brain? I, you know, you, you do hear a lot this, this phrase, yeah, yeah. but then when you start asking for the details, you have a lot of hand-waving. It isn't clear to me even what these people actually mean by that. I mean, do they mean that they want a detailed map of the brain that, that is somehow virtually replicated inside of a computer? That can't be what they mean because uh, the physics will be com the physics will be completely different. There will be no physics there. It would and be also, the information in the, in the brain as it, at it as it is meaningfully encoded. Now we don't know what that level is yet. Right. In the terms of the synapse or the circuitry or internal systems in the neuron, but but that is a scientific um, project that will will have answers to that at some point. And when we know that, we can then take everything in the brain. I mean, this is in theory. It's a uh, if it's possible, in my opinion, you know, we're not uh, uh, tens of years away from that. We're thousands of years away from being able to have the technology to do it. But, you know, 50,000 years from now, 
we could have the technology to do that. So we're mm. asking in principle. That's, that's what I'm doing anyway. So wh why haven't they done it with a shrimp? I mean, a sh the brain of a shrimp is much, much simpler than the brain of a human being. Yeah. And yeah, why, why start with the human beings in terms of uploading? How, we, how about trying to upload things that actually have very simple neural well, aphasia, structure? Well, that has like 356 yeah, neurons or whatever right. it is. I mean, you would think that's that a that, good idea. That that's should a, be doable. Right. A, I, I should idea. talk to the court, <laughs> yeah. the court as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> My bad is, is, is they're not going to be able to do even that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure not. But I think that's, that's a very good idea. How could you, how could you do that? And what, what are the mechanisms that you would simulate uh, and, and aphasia, uh, right. where you know every single neuron and every single connection. Exactly, but I asked the question for, for a uh, reason. I think that a lot of these people are bluffing or they don't really know what they're talking about because otherwise they would have started with a simple system. Yeah, I don't think I mean, they're no, bluffing. I, I don't think, no I scientist think in his right mind would start with the most complex problem that you have. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, the that, human that's brain, true. That right? is true. That's yeah, true. the human brain is, yeah. is, as far as we know, it's the most, most complex, complex structure in the universe. Yeah, right, right. Okay. No, so right. why do you want to start there? You're right, yeah. Um, uh, another way to approach this problem is, I think the question of mind uploading, because there are all sorts of problems that come up, because if you can literally do that with your first person experience, you're obviously replicating it. If you can replicate it once, then you can do it twice, you can do it twice, you can do it an innumerable sure. number of times. And then what happens to your first person consciousness? Is it fractionated? Uh, is it, um, is it duplicate? Is it, you know, multiple personalities all at the same time? So you have this, <laughs> this snowstorm of confusion in your head, uh, all these, uh, I, I mean, there are a lot, th th these, these sound like logical problems, but they'd be very real problems if you could, Absolutely. in fact, d do that. So that, that's a problem. The, qu the question I, I would say that, that the question of mind uploading, really to upload your first person experience, not to upload your twin. I mean, you could take a, a piece of my DNA, a somatic cell, and, and convert it into a germ cell uh, that's possible and clone a person that would have my exact genetics. But it would have nothing to do with my mind. It'd be like I had a, 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 uh, an identical twin from birth. Right. And, and there'd be no mind uh, uh, sharing. We'd have similar characteristics. Uh, but I, I don't. But 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 so mind uploading in my sense would be exa if you could do that, which I think you can't really can't. I agree with you. But if you could, that's it. Would still wouldn't be you. It would be an identical twin of you in some sense. Correct. Without, without any any so so my my thought is is that the true mind uploading we're, we're uploading your first person experience is exactly the same question as if uh, is if you can construct AI that is really conscious. Because if you can construct an AI that's really conscious, I think you have a shot at, at really uploading your first person responsibility. You still, sure. you still have the logical problem of multiplicity, but I think you have progress. I think that's the, people look at the two separate questions. I think it's the same question. They are separate questions. The first one is similar to the famous problem of the uh, Star Trek transporter. That is, every time you step into the transporter mm -hmm. and then you are recreated on the yeah. other side, what, right. is it really you or right. is it your clone, right. essentially? So you died and your clone right. now has been created right. with your exact memories. Right. I bet that what's happening there is that you're cloned, you've just cloned yourself. And sure enough, there are episodes of Star Trek <laughs> where the, 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 the process doesn't work well and then you create two uh, <laughs> Mr. Sparks or two Mr. Rikers yeah. and, that, and what happens. So yeah, you're, I think you're right that that is a separate problem. I mean, the problem of creating an artificial consciousness or, or a, a being, an artificial being that is capable of first person experience, is certainly a solvable problem because uh, we have, of course, yeah, beings of that they're sort. They're different, but they're, they're based on the same, the same uh, uh, fundamental concept yeah. of whether you can, can, whether physical, purely physical systems, however complex, however bodily, however embodied, in whatever way, can have phenomenal consciousness? That's a fundamental question. And I think it's the same question for artificial intelligence and for first person um, uh, uploading, which is, a, which is a higher level of the same thing. I guess I'm gonna disagree there for okay. a second. I, I, I'm gonna suggest that the problem of artificial consciousness in an embodied machinery is actually easier than the problem of- Yeah, I agree. Sense, no, right? I, I agree, we agree right. on that. Of, of uploading. And the reason for that is because so long as we're talking about embodiment and so long, so long we're talking about some kind of physical substrate, then I'm okay with that because, as I said, consciousness, as far as we know, it's a physical process that it's embodied. But once you move to essentially simulating uh, 
you know, from the physical thing to a simulation, then you run into a problem that was pointed out a number of years ago by some philosophers of mind. Uh, we already can simulate down to the quantum details uh, a number of chemical processes, for instance, photosynthesis. Yeah. We know enough about photosynthesis that we can not only simulate the broad level uh, chemical reactions, but even down to the quantum level. The only thing you don't get out of that simulation is sugar. <laughs> right? yeah. You get simulated sugar, yeah, yeah. but simulated sugar isn't right. going to sweeten your, your coffee. Right. If you simulate a rainstorm, you don't get wet. Correct. <laughs> um, and that's still a problem, I think. <laughs>